all that were with me during my crash and burns on YouTube just a second ago, like anytime you're live streaming on YouTube now, especially if you have, who's at my front door? Hold on. Somebody at my front door. Let me look at the ring. Y'all was just, were y'all with me on YouTube? Let me know. Were y'all with me on YouTube? Okay, that's my backyard, my front yard. Mm, who is at my front door? Because I am not walking all the way up there to look for shit. Okay. You have signed in from a new device. No, I haven't. Oh, that's my iPhone. Wait a minute. Hmm. Maybe it's my husband. I know ain't nobody hack our shit. Okay, guys. Um. Yes. So... All I was saying on YouTube before my live got cut was, first of all, there's no call that was edited. It was 42 seconds. What happened in those 42 seconds of that phone call between me and that crackhead that changed the nature of her allegations in the entire call? That's why I asked her to upload the entire call, but the only call she has is my call that she played job. Okay. Um, two, if y'all love and support this woman so much, why didn't y'all buy her damn streams? She sold three streams. Now, y'all done took every video of her with well, her cards declining up to four cards declining for 99 cents. Hell, I even know some banks that'll let you have a threshold of up to $100. If you was the actual use current, that's why I like that current card. That online mobile bank, they'll give you up to $100 so your shit won't be declining. She had four cards that declined for Egg McMuffin, and y'all asses couldn't even buy her album streams? Come on now. Thank you, skin. Thank you, skin. Come on now. If you love her, if she's the truth, Support that lady. Buy her some face wash and some mouthwash so she won't be making no lives and got slob and shit coming down. So she want to challenge me. Bitch, you got to wash your face. You got to brush your teeth first. No. No. Who gets up in the morning, don't brush their teeth, wash their face? That bitch just went outside and smoked a cigarette. That was the first thing she did. Could you imagine how her breath smell in the morning? No. So next time y'all want to come at me, listen, y'all always scream receipts, receipts, receipts. Drop your receipts. I didn't fucking edit no call. That, that call that I uploaded was 17 minutes, 17 fucking seconds, okay? The original call was 18 minutes. Dead fucking air. Now, what happened in that call for her to make it seem like she wasn't out here trying to put some allegations on James Wright and she's never even met that man? And then after she said she saw him with her own two eyes at the golf course, fucking underage boys. Okay? And this story that she got is huge. It's huge. But then she jumps into that man's DM, uh, James Wright. To say that she's sorry after she apologized to Summer Walker for alleging that she was touched. Let's look at Jaguar Wright's history. She apologized to Summer Walker. She apologized to Tiffany Haddish and then tried to clean up that comment that she made about Common raping her or trying to stick his dick. Come on, I never used the word rape. I never used the word uh, force. I said he tried to put his dick in my mouth without your consent. Without your consent. And so now you out here saying that James Wright, somebody who literally doesn't bother any fucking body, is out here sleeping with underage boys. Now, mind you, I got more information on this said email that she said that was coming in from this 14-year-old boy. First of all, first of fucking all, the boy is like 
eight or nine years younger than James Wright. And two, the boy is in his 30s and James Wright is in his 40s. All I'm saying, and but yet she jumps into this man's DM to tell him she's sorry after she done already tried to come for him. After all these YouTubers supposedly got this story that they said I made up. I made up a story. Really? Really? I don't even think about I don't know why. Yeah, she was trying to set us up. And guess who got set the fuck down in front of her crack pipe? That bitch. That bitch. I don't want my name attached to this shit. Don't, don't listen. Y'all gonna come? Motherfucker, y'all wanna drag me? Drag me with some motherfucking receipts. Drag me with some motherfucking receipts. Don't drag me because you don't like me, but yet you watch every fucking thing I do. Bitch, I could fart right now on this goddamn life. You will smell it and you will give details on what that motherfucking shit smelled like. What I ate. What time I ate? That's exactly how much y'all be following me. And I love it because that kind of PR is expensive. Them hoes in a six hour motherfucking live about me. I thought them days was over with. You know, with that other bitch lying as a goddamn Judah when I put her ugly ass out of her nasty ass house and that bitch losing her motherfucking kids and she out here still having babies. How you having babies? You ain't even taking care of the ones you got right. Now, yes, I know y'all hate me, but guess what? Try again. Y'all really thought the platform was losing and we was losing subscribers and we was going down. And Jaguar was the only bitch that put me in my place. No, she didn't. She didn't put me in my place. She never put me in my motherfucking place, okay? Y'all didn't like the type of questions I was asking that lying ass crackhead. So that's why, oh my God, why would y'all do her like that? Why would you talk to her like that? I support Jag, but yet the bitch only got three downloads. Three downloads. Three downloads. She made, because I think the streams was $11 for three songs. Three, after all the millions of views y'all milked up for. Millions of views. Three downloads. But y'all love her. She's the truth. I'm working with Clive Davis to take her down, and I know exactly what retirement community she lives in in Dallas, Texas. Really? Now I, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to kill people now. I'm a killer. I'm a gangster. Oh, okay. Tasha K is a gangster, right? Okay. Okay. All I'm saying is, if you love that bitch so much, support her. Buy her salve. Buy her salve that she says cures COVID-19. Buy her shea butter that you can literally get up out of the Chinese store. But I don't want y'all buying it from Chinese people. You know what I'm saying? They have literally milked our, our, our communities for everything we damn got, okay? It's time that we start supporting our black people, but we don't want to. Buy your salve. Buy your COVID-19 cure from her. And matter of fact, I'll make a strong donation for her to upload that call that she said I edited. The 18 minutes. Upload the entire 18 minutes. I uploaded 17 minutes and 17 seconds. Upload that entire call. And I heard the links didn't work. See how, do you know, that's another thing. Black people, we got to get our business and shit working. We got to get that shit working. We can't be out here selling shit and we ain't got websites. Remember when I asked her, because I was like, you ain't got no website in that interview and y'all got mad too? You ain't got no website in that interview. You, you, you ain't got no website. And the bitch ain't got no website. Y'all couldn't buy shit. Y'all couldn't buy any motherfucking thing. And is she making love some? I know people are asking for my cash app, but that cash app is connected to my ex-husband. So, you know, um, I have a new cash app. Why is your cash app connected to your ex-husband? The man that put your ass in jail for kidnapping your son that you lost custody of. Do y'all not see the fucking pattern? Do y'all not see who the fuck y'all dealing with? Three lies. Common. Summer Walker. Okay? James Wright. Storm. Tasha K. And like I 
said, I'm extremely, extremely happy with the results of our ongoing litigation between that bird brain and I, I would just, I would just say this before y'all speak, because here's what I don't want y'all to have to do. Like y'all do all the time. Oh, she's a liar. Oh, she's this. Oh, she's that. And then y'all are nowhere to be motherfucking foul when them goddamn, when that shit comes fucking true. I would honestly just ask y'all, but y'all can't because y'all, y'all hate for me. It just gets in the way of your cognitive thinking skills. Okay. It gets in the way. Matter of fact, I'm going to summon her ex-husband, Jaguar Wright, real quick before I get back on this Cardi shit. Um, I'm going to summon her ex-husband. I have his information, but here's the thing. The phone number that I've called, I think he doesn't recognize my number. Please, if anybody knows Jaguar Wright's ex-husband, please send him my way. I want to sit down with him. I am begging. Please, we need clarity on this woman, okay? We need all of the shit put out front and fucking center. That is the only person that I want to sit down with going forward, all right? I will pay him whatever amount he needs in order to make sure that he's here in Atlanta because we are going to do this shit front and center. She want to put everybody else shit on blast? Guess what? We're going to put her motherfucking shit on blast. How about that? Now, don't you come in my motherfucking live telling me who the fuck I can't speak on. Cardi, Cardi, motherfucking drug and robbing Cardi, bitch. And like I said, for you motherfuckers that don't like me, I would just suggest y'all pipe down on your taking sides and wait until this motherfucking case is over. How about that, bitch? I ain't got to say nothing. You ain't seen me going out telling no YouTubers, oh, girl, look, look at how the case is going. I know how the motherfucking case is going. And in order to lose some shit, like, I can't even say that she's losing. I can't say that. I can't say that I'm losing because we ain't in court. We ain't in court. We're just discussing shit between each other. That's it. To you motherfucking IG and YouTube attorneys. 